I'm here with Amy at Woven Safari Park and in a few minutes we're going to go out to see the elephants and I've got some questions for Amy as well. There's two types of elephants, aren't there? Yes, there's African and Asian elephants. Here at the park we've got Asian elephants. Uh, Raja, Damani and Shandrika came to the park in 97 from Jaldapara, West India. Obviously since we've had baby Tali, who's also an Indian elephant. And then we've got Yuzin, who came in 2010 from a zoo in Europe. Uh, she's a Burmese elephant, it's a little bit smaller. But the bigger differences are between African and Asian elephants. So yeah, Africans are obviously the ones with the big ears and tusks. Uh -huh. They also have a different shape back to our Asian elephants, a different shape forehead, a different number of toenails, and a different number of ribs. And on the end of their trunk, they've got two fingers, whereas Asian elephants have got just the one. How much do elephants weigh and how strong are they? They're really strong, aren't they? Yes, Shandrika that you're going to meet today weighs over three and a half tons. Now just using her trunk she can move two tons and if we hitch her up to a harness she can pull logs behind her and move her own body weight which is why Asian elephants were domesticated to help with the logging industry. <laughs> Do they like to play and do they have toys to play with? Uh, they do. Obviously, baby Tali loves playing the most, but she does struggle to convince the adults to play with her sometimes. So the elephant house is full of toys. We've got things up high for them to exercise their trunks and then things loose on the floor that are strong enough for an elephant to play with. Their favourite is probably their football, which we can fill up with different treats for them. <laughs> Foods do the elephants like to eat? When they're paddocks, they've got access to grass and any tree branches they can reach. We also give them hay to bulk up their diet. And when they do like mixture, chopped up fruits and vegetables. What, like, like, could they pick up a blueberry with their trunks or would that be too small for them to manage? No, they can do that. The finger on the end of their trunk can pick up an individual blueberry or they can kind of snort them up into their trunk and fire them into their mouth or they do scoop it up. Do they like strawberries? They do. They do like sweet fruits. Tali, in particular, likes things like bananas and strawberries. <laughs> What about, there's a special elephant call, isn't there, where they can call to each other over miles? Yes, they do make lots of different noises, like trumpeting and roaring, but the one you mean, I think, is the rumble. So the sinuses in their heads are hollow, and the sound echoes around. It's a bit like if you turn the bass up too high in your speakers, okay. and it travels down their legs into the floor, and the elephants can feel it miles and miles away, like if there's an earthquake coming. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. It's been really helpful meeting Amy today and we felt so welcomed by her and the other keepers. And it's been helpful for my new book, The Runaways, which is about a mum and a baby elephant set during World War One. I. I hope you enjoy reading it and see you again soon.